Hey guys, um, I wanted to make a video because of uh, something that I noticed today while I was looking in the mirror. I mean, I've noticed it always, but today for some reason it just really made me say, hmm. And um, it's a, I'm not going to say freakishly long because it's not freakish, but it is longer, a lot longer than uh, the rest of my locks. And it's actually two locks that are really, really long and they kind of stick out. Or at least they do to me. Um, they are a lot longer than the rest of my locks. So I wanted to see, well, exactly how long are these longer locks? So I took a good old ruler that my kids have right here and I measured it. And um, I wanted to see if you guys have one lock that's like extremely longer than all the rest of them. In my, I have two. This one here which comes all the way down to uh, this part and I'm not yanking on it I'm just like slightly pulling it because my hair is crimped so I'm just pulling the crimp out of it and uh, it's here and then I have another lock that's in the back and here it is so that rests here and um, it's right on the bottom part of my bra strap. Um, so ladies, you know what that means. It's not the top part, but the bottom part, right before it goes to the lower, to your back. So anyway, I uh, wanted to measure it just to see, okay, exactly how long are these locks that are longer than all my, the rest of them. So again, took this good old ruler from my kids and Okay, so this one is here, right here on the edge. Okay, so we're just taking a good old regular school ruler, nothing special about it. Goes to uh, it's an old ruler, so the numbers are kind of faded, but it goes to 12 using the inches. And uh, so we're putting it here on the scalp, right here where my hair starts. And we're taking it all the way down and we see there's still some hair left. So this right here, this point is already 12 inches right here. So now I'll take the ruler starting at zero and stretch it out to here. And that's right at two. So that's 12 plus two, which is 14 inches. So we got 14 inches on this one here. And let's take the one in the back. That was a call from the FBI center. And um, it said we need to protect our home. Yeah, did you, is it, are they still on the phone? No. Okay. Was it a recording? Okay. Now let's see if I can't find them. They're not putting any signs up in our yard. They're not putting any signs up in our freaking yard. Well, we're taking it down then. Okay, so the one in the back, again, we take our good old ruler, put it on the scalp. Can't really see this one as great as the other one. Put it here on the scalp and we're stretching, we're stretching, we're stretching. And again, it's all the way to the end with some pieces hanging over. So we take that, we'll make sure I get to the very edge. Okay, and then we put it here at the beginning and we pull that one down. And so this one is to one and a half. So that's 12 plus 1 is 13 and a half inches. So, interesting to know. 14 inches here, 14 inches here, and then 13 and a half inches in the back. So now, okay, let's, well, what's the length of a regular normal lock? Um, let's just pick this one. It's not short, but it's not the longest. It's kind of right in the middle.
kinds of craziness going on. Okay. Put it here on the scalp. Stretch it all the way out. It's got some hanging. And this one is <laughs> 13 and a half. Okay, so that wasn't a good example. All right, what about this one? It's kind of right next to it. It's got some hanging. I got a feeling this is going to be 13 and 13 and a quarter. Okay, so it seems like it's the longest lock, but in all actuality, it's only an inch longer than the rest of them. So, um, but it looks long. It looks extremely longer than the rest of them. You see, this is like crazy length. But anyway, um, that <laughs> and also, as you see, my roots are back to my natural color and it's getting around about that time for me to uh, color. And yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't even want to hear it. I am going to color my hair again. But this time, I am debating not whether or not to color, but what color. Now, I know I said in the past that eventually I'll go darker and darker. So my original hair color will show and it won't be a drastic change between the two colors. But, you know, honestly, I don't know. I mean, I, I, it's our prerogative to change our mind in two seconds, right? Well, that's what I've done. I am going to color it. But the color that I'm thinking about is red. I bought the color before I actually fully committed to the idea. And it's this. Red Hot Rhythm. Um, I don't know how this is going to look. Now, I don't doubt that this red would look good with my skin complexion. But... That's not really what I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about how it's going to match with the already existing whatever color this is. Um, so that's what I'm really like, oh, do I want to do it? But I want to try something different. So um, what I am thinking of doing is coloring the back portion of my hair, this red color, and then the front, just the normal color that I always color it with. And then if if it doesn't quite go good together, then nobody will hardly ever see it unless I wear my hair up. And, um, you know, if that's the case, then that's the case. But at least it's not bam right in the front. So let me know what you think about that as far as the color that I'm going to soon be experimenting with. And then also, um, let me know how long your longest lock is and um, also what your shortest lock is. And I want to show you my shorter locks for some reason are right here in the front and um, my shortest one when I measured it earlier today it was six inches I believe so we take our good old ruler put it right here in the scalp and we bring it down bring it down to here I don't know if that's in focus but it is six and three quarters so my shortest lock is six inches six and three quarter inches and my longest lock is 14 inches so uh tell me what your longest lock or and your shortest lock is and also what do you think about the color uh color contrast is it gonna flow good or you know just what what are your thoughts on that and um Really quick, I wanted to say before my battery runs out that normally um, for someone first trying out color, never put color in their hair, I would fully, fully suggest that you go to a professional and um, spend the extra money to go to a professional. You don't want to do something to your hair that you will regret. And, and the only reason why I haven't done it is because I've been coloring my hair on and off since I was in high school. So I'm pretty comfortable with using at home color kits but if you're not then all by means please go to a professional i don't want your hair to fall out i don't want it to turn into some horrible color and you're like no she told me go to a professional and get them to do your hair um but other than that i normally color my hair in march so maybe around in the middle of march i will come back with another vi another video to show what it looks like I know I'm scared but um 
Okay, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.